She don't run with thugs, she don't shit me like no rapper. See you coming up, I can make that fast. I'm a nigga be on blood. Screaming for a twirl to the DA and judge. Never been a dog, never been a scrub. Eat booty bitch, made a bag to ass up. Shots out the switch, made him bag his man up. Say that she your bitch, she my private dancer. You can call her phone, bitch, she ain't gon' answer. Go, 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 go. I can't be the only one who feels that music kind of sounds all the same. I noticed that all the trending stuff on Instagram and TikTok all has the same melody, the same beat, the same lyrics. And maybe it's just me becoming a crotchety old man. But I started to do some research into this and found that there is data to support this. A couple of years ago, the Medical University of Vienna did a study into the quantitative aspects of music. This means timbre, acoustical variations, and how that related to sales. I looked at Max Martin's career, and he's got the most number one singles out of any other person in the world except for Paul McCartney and John Lennon. And he said in an interview with The Economist that it's the intros that make or break a song. And you can see that over time, the intros for songs have gotten shorter. I've also noticed this with filmmaking, the amount of cuts that are required. You take a Mr. Beast video, for instance. I just bought this train and it is currently barely full speed towards that giant pit over there. We're also crashing countless cars, blowing up thousands of sticks of real dynamite, and even putting 10 jet engines on a car, just to show you the most insane experiments of all time. Starting with feeling- he, he has about 30 cuts in 15 seconds, and it's all to keep you going, keep you watching. It's this, this crazy stranglehold on your attention. That's why a lot of hip hop today is so intense. It's bar, 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 beat, beat, beat. It's nuts. When you compare that to, say, a Tribe Called Quest. Back in the days on the boulevard, I landed. We used to kick routines and the presence was fit. And it was I, the abstract. And me, the five footer. I kicks the mad style, so step off the Frankfurter. Yo, Fife, you remember that routine? That we used to make spiffy like Mr. Clean. Um, um, a tidbit, um, a smidgen. I don't get the message, so you got to <laughs> okay. run the pigeon. And in the 2000s hip hop era is when you could hear an excellent beat, great sampling, and you could understand the lyrics. You could understand what they were saying in the songs. Today, it's a little bit harder. Look, I like Nicki Minaj and some of the new art today, but I'm just saying that there is data to support that it is being dumbed down and simplified, and with that, the uniqueness removed. Now that's good in some cases because as artists we now know how to make a living, how to pay the bills by making this kind of content that's rewarded. But it would be a shame to see that all artists from here to the end of time have a body of work that is simplified, that is the McDonald's of art. So what I'll say is this, we know what is a rewarded piece of content. We know that a simplified version of our art is going to be valued higher on the social scale. It may not be the best art, but it pays the bills, it gets rent paid. Because while that stuff is being rewarded, the totally simplified art with uniqueness removed, there is also a whole audience craving amazing art. Take Oppenheimer, for example. It's a three hour bioptic on a nuclear physicist. And yet Christopher Nolan made that just an incredible film. People are craving real art still. Aaron Sorkin said it best in his masterclass that there are all these different ways to make beef. You could have, you know, filet mignon or beef wellington, but if you need to make beef for everybody that pleases everybody, that pleases the most amount of people, it's McDonald's. And I don't know about you, but I don't wanna make the McDonald's of art for my audience. So I wanna do a deeper dive into this, but the kernel of the idea is why does everything sound the same? And there is data to support that the introductions are getting shorter, that the instrumentation of music specifically, if it's simplified, it equals to more sales. And again, we're seeing this with 
social media rewarding very quick cut videos. I, I wanted to explore why, and it just basically is like, the simpler piece of content sells better. And I think that's a very fascinating evolution of art. So I may do a deeper dive into this, but for now, all I can say is if you're out there making art, please, please don't remove the uniqueness. Don't remove the sharp edges. Try to make something memorable. And if not everybody likes it, fine. Rick Rubin said it best, great art divides. I'm gonna try to do that with the stuff I make, and I hope you will too. Thanks. Woo! Ain't nobody smooth like me. I don't flash see notes, that's too high key. Keep it all down low, that's who I be. Levitating on the stage when I move my feet. All right, look, good guy, didn't know that he can move, huh? Been in my shell, popped out like Cooper, and she looked good.